proposed ordinance that could shut down businesses with repeated gun violence, but not before a number of high profile rappers spoke out against the proposal. CBS 46's Yasmina Alston joins us live at Atlanta City Hall. And Yasmina, what were they saying? Well, Sean, several Atlanta big names talked about the impacts that this ordinance would have on nightclubs. Killer Mike saying that small clubs are the backbone of the city's hip hop community. Atlanta big names spoke up in Monday's city council meeting. Several rappers and entertainment industry leaders say they don't want small independently owned nightclubs to be targeted by the nuisance property ordinance. If passed, the city would have the power to close establishments with two or more violent conduct reports as nuisance properties within two years. City leaders tabled a vote during the meeting. They need to uh, retract some of the things that they have on the ordinance and I think crime is up everywhere, not just in Atlanta. Rapper two chains as well as Killer Mike spoke during the meeting. Killer Mike making a plea to take the ordinance back to committee for review. As Atlanta grows, corporations are going to be coming in here. So somebody's going to have a nightlife in the convention city. It's going to be the owners of Hard Rock or the owners of Hooters or the owners of a W Hotel or it's going to be the little people that went to Frederick Douglass and Maids and Southwest Cabins. The ordinance also addresses the businesses in Atlanta that have avoided potential closures with loopholes such as changing property ownership or business names. I feel the city is targeting the industry for a crime being committed in the city. And that's not right. That's not right. You're trying to hold artists, which are rap artists, or whoever type of artists, responsible for the crime in the city. Now you're trying to point the finger at the nightlife to be part of the crime in the city. And council members will take up the matter again in two weeks. Live in downtown Atlanta, Yasmina Alston, CBS 46 News.